Today, as you can see, is what I shall be attempting to marinate, season, and portion up. Ready. Watch this space. Enter phase two. The water for the broccoli. The fish is going to be poached in there because the salmon doesn't need a lot of marinating. We have the ribs that have been marinated nicely. And the chef's pizza for later. It's all good. Go people. There's the salmon. One half. Video will follow later. That's the lamb, boned, rolled and stuffed. Choose your own stuffing ingredients. The chef used his secret special recipe. And as you can see, it's pocketed with fresh rosemary and garlic. Ready to go. There is the joint of pork in the marinade there. I've cheated a little bit here, I must admit. The same pork ribs, that's what that one's gone in. The marinade also needs time to marinate itself. So that's ideal pork on pork, so no cross-contamination people. For all of those you love the trends on. There's the chef's wings, gone in there lovely. And underneath this one, I better move this a little bit so you'll, so you'll see. There's the old salmon gone in there, in that one. That's the old jerk salmon. Same marinade as before, but we've put a little bit of fish sauce in there, a little bit of soy sauce, and some dill changes the total marinade. And there's the old traditional jerk that you've done. So there we go peeps, from there to there, and we're all done, and now the chef is going to sit himself down, and he'll go into the top shelf of his fridge, and we've got a nice little Chardonnay which is chilling very nicely in the fridge. Have a great Easter people. At these babies peeps, look at that. Look at that. You can find these at Chicago Rib Shack. Eat your heart out. Eh? How much would this cost you in a top drawer restaurant or a takeaway now, eh? Eh? Makes it all worthwhile.